Have you heard of the high elves? That's right. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to stream this like it is the first time we stream this, uh, even though I've streamed many times before on Vine Sauce. But um, yeah, uh, Oblivion is one of my favorite games. It is a very wacky game, but it is it is a good game. Uh, it has it has gotten a lot of resurgence as of late because of, you know, Internet stuff. But uh, I've always enjoyed Oblivion for what it is. You know, I I got it on my 360 back in the day when it was first released even. Um, and I've always loved it. Uh, it's got some, uh, some uh, little awkward, uh, harsh edges that you can sandpaper down, I guess. But uh, it, it kind of adds to the charm, and I, I believe. But uh, all right, so we're gonna have to recreate our last character. Unfortunately, it is a little bit embarrassing. But uh, hey, if it means I can stream more Oblivion, then fine, fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway. So let's uh, let's put this on. Uh, on screen here. Can I do that? Can I? Underprepared as always. That's that's a Joel stream for you. <laughs> All right. Man, I, I'll tell you. I, I know this sounds trivial and dumb, but whenever I hear Oblivion music, I I get nice feels in my spine. I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Morrowind is better? Absolutely Morrowind is better, but that's not the point. Listen, uh... If I- if I wanted- listen... I've- I've tried to stream Morrowind before, and it-, it Morrowind streams really badly. Uh, I love Morrowind, I do. But, uh, first of all, uh... I would have to do a lot of reading, and- and immerse people in it, which, you know, wouldn't be that much of a problem, but... My grading voice and a lot of dialogue to read uh, is uh, a nightmare for you guys, you know. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Oblivion is, is is more of the uh, animated game, so to say, if that makes sense. It is more of a. It's also its flaws in its way because uh, you know it's so goofy at times, but uh, it has a lot of unintentional humor, which I like as well. They're very different, you know. Anyway. There we go. Almost ready. Almost ready. And here we go. Alright, again, if you're tuning in, uh, last time we <laughs> played this, I accidentally deleted my save files. I was moving a bunch of streams. And Bethesda Games treats your my documents as like the save route. And I was just cleaning that out. I'm like, oh wait, that's where my save is, right? <laughs> So, uh, ooh, I got to redo this. But that doesn't matter, because now it begins anew and nothing ever happened, right? I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, Number one. I ruled as Tamriel's emperor. Engage. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. <laughs> I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. <coughs> Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. A compressed video. <laughs> oh boy. It really did look this compressed back in the day too. Like, we just saw past it I guess, but uh... But we gotta love the the ground texture here uh, around the land. <laughs> last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era, and the final hours of my life. It's like a beta word. Look at that. I don't want to like break the immersion or anything like that. But uh, where's all this stuff? It's like a it's like a bootleg version of the actual world, you know. I guess they made the uh, the cinematic first. Oh, the steam! Oh, oh! Amazing graphics for 2006. It was. Let me tell you, these graphics used to blow me away. They they really did. Here we go. Whoosh. That's right. All right. So, uh, 
I said this before, but yeah, where we last left off, we did a character, and unfortunately that character did not, um... He got accidentally raced, which is really embarrassing, but hey, again, we're gonna play it like no nothing ever happened. But, uh, yeah, uh, Oblivion, uh, I wanna recite what I said last time, Oblivion is one of my favorite games. Um, you know, it is a little mimetic in nature these days, isn't it? But I, I've always enjoyed Oblivion generally for what it is, and, uh, um... As I said, it's a little rough at times, but, uh, that just adds to the whole experience, I believe. Um, it is, it is definitely not as a complex of a game as Morrowind. It is more streamlined in certain regards, but it's still a fine game, and I, I very much enjoy it. Um, we are going to, um, be playing, uh, the main quests and stuff like that. I, I can't guarantee that we're gonna do all the, uh, the guild quests and stuff like that, but, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to enjoy Oblivion. Uh, for what it is and uh, you know play it, but uh, yeah anyway um, What character are we making uh, I, I I had this idea that I should just make me in the game uh, with oblivion's awful awful a character designer uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want you guys want you, want, you guys want the book yes Yes. Alright, I guess, okay, here's what we're gonna make. Do you either want the Joel, or do you want the Muscle? <laughs> wow, we're really split on this opinion, huh? The Joel, Joel. Oh my god, we, we are, we are a bit of a conundrum here. Uh... All right, fine, fine, fine. Because here's here's the thing. We need, you know what we should do. You know what we should do. Let us make a straw poll. <laughs> I'm gonna post a straw poll. I never really do these things, but uh, Oblivion character. Here we go, Joel Bulk. All right, it's so dumb for me to do this, but uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. If you need the all right, <laughs> that was a bit of a waste of a time, but we're gonna make a new character here. Uh, cause, damn it, damn it, I wanna make a, a character that, that I feel is totally the ultimate in, in, like, a monk character, you know? Here we go. Now, this is gonna be way easier, cause, you know, uh, making a, making a character that is, like, super duper ugly, uh, it's kind of Oblivion's natural thing. Here we go, so what we're gonna do is, is do this. <laughs> cause I think there's, like, a, almost... Almost a, a hairstyle for this. Here we go. This, both Pokemon is a little tan, so... There we go. Uh, I, I don't know what, what both Pokemon's actual eye colors is, though, but... Uh, Alright. Here we go. Uh, what would be the best thing? Yeah, I guess this is the closest thing to a bulk Pokemon haircut. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, and then we do unnatural ye yellow. Okay, 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 we have something already. There we go, okay, length, maximum length, okay. <laughs> we have it, we have it. All right, now we just got to do giant eyeballs. Here we go. Here we go. Oop. Uh, we got- no, 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 can I make him bigger? Alright. Face, here we go. Bulk Bogan looks quite silly. Oh, that's a little too round. Burp. Oh, I, I guess that works. Alright, we're gonna do, uh... The mouth has to look a certain way. Cheeks. Here we go. I'm onto something. You know what, you know what, we need a reference picture, that's what we need. Uh... <laughs> let me <laughs> let me let me get a good reference picture from bulk. Uh, here we go. This is like the worst picture for it, but uh, I I, I guess it kind of works. Hang on. There we go. All right, now we just have to get this face onto this th this man on the right. So, uh, all right, here we go. Uh, oh boy, where do I even start? A little bit more of that. A little, little of this. Okay. 
Mouth, I think it's kind of... Yeah. Man. Uh, no, no. Okay. Now, if I get a mustache on him, I think it'd be pretty good, actually. There we go. See, he's in jail, too, so it's even more perfect! It's like medieval hard time! That's what it is! This is perfect! This is perfect! Man. Oh my god. Guys, okay, the nose, I can even- Okay, this- This, this is an excellent character for Oblivion, let me tell you. He, he'll fit right in. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Okay, he's, he's got a little bit of a... Pretty wide nose, though. So Something like this would work. Both Morgan is also constantly angry at life, so... Okay, there we go. Tilt it just a little bit up. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thin wide. That works. Yeah, a little too uh, long of a nose, though, but... Uh, here we go. Nose. We got a... There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, now, we gotta fix up the forehead a little bit, because he's got a giant one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> wow. He is ready for some combat, man. Alright, so what else can we do here? Chin. I think we fixed that last time. It's got a kind of a square chin, honestly. I'm analyzing things I never thought about. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, okay. You know, pet. <laughs> okay. Uh, Patrick Stewart, uh, he, uh, he voice acts in this game, but I think this looks like Captain Picard, if anything. Engage. Alright. Okay. Okay, no, we're, we're definitely getting there. We're definitely getting there. Alright, now I just gotta fix these eyes up, man. Uh, as big as possible, because it's like the, the hard time kind of face. Oh, a little bit too much alien for me. Uh, that kind of looks okay. Alright, face. Let me see what I can change here. No, that, that is good enough. A little bit more of a wide face. Alright, now... I think we're done that. The jaw. The forehead, for sure. Brow. Okay, okay, okay. Bog Bogan is angry. Now, see if we can get the eyes more like this. Okay. Okay. I think we got something. I think we got... Oh my god. I think we got something. Okay, no, don't do that. Now, if I can... Just get the eyes a little closer to each other. Because this, this doesn't look good. You know? Here we go. Yeah. This is when you know you spend too much time on, a, on Oblivion face creator when you're doing stuff like this. Oh my god, that face. He looks okay in the front, but on the side... Oh my god. I, I can You know what? It fits for bulk, though. It fits for bulk. There we go. There we go. Okay. We have something. Alright, now the moment of truth here. If we can get... First of all, the eyes. Okay. There we go. It's got a, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now, the question is... Can I put a weird beard on him? And if I can do that, we have our bulk. Oh, my God. Alright. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Almost. Almost. It's getting there. Let's see your eyebrows. It's got pretty. <laughs> oh wow, Kenshiro. That's gonna be harder than I thought, huh? All right, but I like a challenge. 
I like a chill. Oh my god. He's losing his, like, color if I do that. And these Oblivion face face stuff. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Alright. I, I guess that works. I guess, if anything, I can do, like, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Music is so ominous, man. Uh... Wow. Okay, okay, okay. It's like a techno dance. Alright. Okay, what is wrong with this skin? I mean, he's getting there for sure. You know, it's not too terrible. I mean, yes it is, but, you know. There we go. Okay. Nose. Yeah, okay. It's coming together. It's coming together for sure. Okay. A little bit more of that. Yeah, okay. Now, if I only can get this beard in. If I somehow... I need to close my window. Hang on. Alright, we're back. Sorry. Alright. I gotta get the little goatee Scott, but like this is like this looks bad. Like it's got that weird oblivion. No 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 look look at that. Look at that. Now refine this just a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. No, less of that. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. See, this is where mod comes in handy, right? This is where mod comes in handy. Where we get. He's, now he's like green! What, what? Man, Oblivion's face creator. Like, I love it, but. Why is it so weird? I think this is the best we'll get, honestly. I, I don't know if we can get better than this. Because now we, we spent too much time on this, and it, we wasted so much potential time. Uh, and eyebrows, right. You know what? You know what, though? You know what, though? If I can... A little bit more, less of that. Yeah. There's something magic here that's missing. I don't know what it is, but, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's more like him, but, uh. Okay, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, okay, now now it's okay, there we go. And now I fix up the lips a little bit. Man, I can't believe I'm spending this much time on Oblivion making like dumb 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 characters. <laughs> I mean that's 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 pretty good. That is pretty good. You gotta give me some credit. It's the best we'll get, okay? It's the best we'll get. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he like just ate, like, raw ground beef. <laughs> like, this is something wrong with him. I can't put my finger on it, but, uh... Alright. That's the best we'll get. I can't get better than that. Honestly. Uh, I wish I could just do the, the eyes completely... Hang on. I guess that's that, that's what we can ch change, right? 
I don't know what else we can do. Uh, cause you can't, you can't change the eyes, you know? The mustache is the thing wrong with him, yeah, I know, but like, I can't really make that, so... The mouth? Well, that, that's because his mouth is open here, like in the reference picture, like he... Hang on, l let me show you how Bulk looks otherwise. Like, Bulk has a pretty wide mouth. You know? There you go. Mouth too wide still. Alright, you know, I can try to fix that, I guess. But we gotta get a move on soon. We have to get a move on soon. You guys were right. Fuck, it is the mouth. If we... <laughs> if we... Change the mouth a little bit. It, yeah, that's the secret. Okay. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Okay. That's what it was. That's the trick. Okay, now if the eyes can get a little closer... Okay. Hang on. I can't... Can I... Maybe, hang on. Let me do the forehead. Yeah. What do you think? I think that, you know, out of all the Oblivion stuff, this comes... Yeah. It's in their jaw. Yes. Great. Wider forehead. We won't get any better than this, honestly. Ice a little bit bigger? Alright. But after that, we... I don't know if I can do more. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, this is the closest we'll get, honestly. I can't, I can't <laughs> thin their jaw and we're done. All right. Thinner jaw. A little bit of that. There we go. Mm, I don't know. I think I, I think I ruined it up. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Can I get these parts to st stay a little better? Can I get the cheekbones? Yeah. H here we go. Cheekbones. More, more like straight. Hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. You know, I, I don't know if I can make it any better than this chat. Honestly. Honestly. Side shot. Pump it. It's time to pump this. Alright. Oh, that's even better, actually. You know what? He kind of has this... He kind of has this uncanny resemblance to Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Doesn't he? Which coincidentally looks like young Dave Mustaine. Look it up. But, uh... Alright. Uh... Here we go. Uh... Mama. Alright, what else can we do here? I, I I think we're good here though. Like Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go with this. And I think the hang on. I think the eye color is a little too uh or like the, the color around his eyes. We fix that up.
Just a little bit. And then we change the skin to be a little bit more tanned. Yeah, okay. We got our bulk. We got our bulk. <laughs> I guess the last thing we could change here, and I mean the last thing, is maybe just the nose. That's not the nose, though. Oh, great. Now I ruined it. Uh, this editor is, is something else. Yeah. It's the best we'll get. It's the best we'll get. <sighs> Thank you, Bulk. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna go with Bulk Bogan, as I said. Bulk Bogan. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Now, if I could make just, just black eyes, I would, but I, I can't. So, uh, yeah. A little green. You know, he's been eating a little too many sewer rats, you know. Alright, here we go. And, yes. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he looks fine. Look, look. Yeah, listen, that is bulk. All right, I don't give a shit. Th that's that's who he is. Yes. My, my, you're a big one. A nord, I guess, right? So strong. Yes. But you can't bend steel. Yes, I can. Boy. You mm. can't do anything to get out of here. Oh. And those big muscles Musclase. are trying to waste away. Oh. When the end comes, you won't even have the strength to cry for your mother. Mama. That's right. You're going to die in here. Mm, dying. You hear me, Nord? You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> All right. Ten cup. All right. My job right now is to get you to safety. This is this is both Bogan's like great great ancestor. You know. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. I don't like how his head moves. You, I've seen you. Really? Let me see your face. You don't wanna. You are the one from my dream. You dream of me? Then the stars were right. Ew. And this is the day. That's some Gods nightmares, man. Me strength. I agree, Picard. Number one. Engage. Um, all right. What's going? What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Who are you, or why am I in jail? Uh, I forgot what, what, what the actual Bulk Bogan in Hard Time went to prison for. I think like for terrorism or something, but anyway. Who are you? I am your emperor. Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in the jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Ooh. I go my own way, or what should I do? I I will. What should I do? I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the Almighty Gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. I ate my cellmate. I ate him. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. I'm watching our way. You don't want to do that again. Yes. <laughs> There's trouble ahead. 
Your destiny calls you down a different road. <laughs> the trouble just hit you in the head. Alright. Well, th these are my bulk bog and gang signs. Waste side. Waste side. Waste side. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. <laughs> Protect yourself. This can only lead to your death. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would trust Bulk Borgen to be your, like, yeah. Are you alright, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno? I don't know if that, that death rattles or th this guy is like. I don't know. Mace with the beast? Alright, uh. All right, we gotta complete this. We gotta complete the look, guys. Boom! Perfect. Oh, dude, it's perfect. Yes, Don't worry, my head. We will get you. Out. <laughs> oh <laughs> God! <laughs> look at Bulk. The blades. <laughs> I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here. Oh, dude, he's ripped. He is ripped. All right, so on my last say we did, uh, we we chose a monk uh, character, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. Uh, I'm not gonna do any weapons in this run. Uh, run sounds weird, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a pure fist run just to like be the perfect bulk. Um, Rato. All right, let's see what else I can do. You know, uh, I I think bulk would be. Uh, do you think Bulk uh, fits more into uh, the Thieves Guild or the uh, Dark Brotherhood? What do you think? Wait, waste sight. Here we go. Dark Brotherhood, yeah. For sure. Waste sight. Alright, anyway. <laughs> it's perfect, too, because I was doing the same thing in hard time. I was flashing these gang signs, you know? There we go. Yup! Oh, that rat flew. Alright. You know, uh... I think I'm just gonna skip all this, honestly, because, like, we, we spent a lot of time last stream just... ...messing around this tutorial. This is the tutorial, by the way. Who's watching Oblivion for the first time? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, I would say if you're watching Oblivion for the first time and you, uh... oh my god, there's too many people. All right, so I'm gonna be playing this game with the uh, with the assumption that most people have played it or know where I'm going or doing, but I'm gonna occasionally just f film. Uh, I'm gonna like let people know that. Uh, What's going on? Like, hey, here, here's a goblin. You can you can do sneaking stuff in this game. Like, doot, 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 you know, you crouch down, you get this eye, and then you can, you know, do that, which I always fail at. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you're new to this, I, I'll give you a brief, uh, brief explanation to all of this. So, Oblivion is, um, let's see, Arena was the first one. I think this is the fourth Elder Scrolls game, and it came out in 2006. Uh, some people regard this as a masterpiece. I see it as a more of a flawed masterpiece of anything. Uh, it is a great game. It's got a lot of fantastic atmosphere, great music and all that. It is occasionally a little weird and wonky. You know, the ragdoll for its time was a little... yeah, uh... But when this came out, it, it was like, it was like the, the, the game when it came, came, come to role-playing games, you know? Um... It's a very rough diamond, yeah. But it's it's a very it's a very eccentric game. It it, it it's hard to hate this game. Uh, but I'm sure there was a lot of purists back then, that, that, back in the day, that said, "Dude, this game is just crap." But um, yeah. Unfortunately, I think Oblivion is uh, a product of its time. With uh, hang on, let me just clear this out. I think Oblivion is is uh. It's a thing of its time where people favored graphics over gameplay a little bit, and I think that's how this game was developed in mind. You know, hot off the heels, well, that would be 2003 with Bethesda's yeah. Morrowind. Morrowind wasn't, like, the best-looking game, but it had amazing atmosphere, amazing lore, and, you know, the, the combat isn't, like, the best, but it's based on the... 
the the dice D&D stuff, which was fine. But I think Bethesda said, all right, listen, we, we, we want the players to have a more, you know, boom, boom combat experience. And they went for this whole nice looking game. In, and they kind of stunted some of, you know, Morrowind's... Uh, I, I'm not going to get the staff, by the way. Uh, Morrowind's finer elements, you know. Some of the stuff has been streamlined or, or simplified, which is fine. It makes it for a different game. But uh, for what it is, it's Oblivion, and I think it's a great game. It's got a lot of lovable characters and quests. In fact, uh, I think this game has the best guild in all of the Elder Scrolls games, the Dark Brotherhood, as I said before. Uh, it's a, like an assassination guild, and it's going to fit right in with Bulk here. I could sell the staff, yeah, I probably could, but listen, it's it's going to take off a few seconds from this. Waste side. Kill him. He might be working with the assassins. No. That no. Not he smart. is not one of them. He, <laughs> can help us. he must help us. They cannot understand <laughs> why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Uh, Listen. You know the nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Yes. Uh. I don't know. I don't think about it. I'm not on good terms with the gods. The Nine guide this and protect this us. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. All right. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Uh... I don't know if a collapsed star is a star sign, but that would be me. Uh, uh, so the, if you're if you're new to this again, uh, Oblivion has all these little uh, star signs that give you different uh, attributes and stuff like that. Uh, I'm actually going to go with um, the warrior because I am playing as a monk, which means that we are going to get ten more uh, points of strength and endurance, which is perfect the for a character like I this. Need show the end of my path, my death, a necessary end will come when it will come. <laughs> What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the warrior shall prove a stalwart <laughs> companion when fortune fades. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. Yes. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Can you see my fate, this? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. <laughs> Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, By the way. behold the sun's <laughs> companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. So, Oblivion has this weird thing where they animated the faces of... The eyes aren't actually randomly looking at things, it's set on a specific sort of like, Left! I'm looking right now! You know, it, it makes it seem more animated, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we <coughs> must part. This can only lead to your... You may as well make yourself <laughs> useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. All right. Thanks. Stick close and let us do our job. And you'll be all right. Here we go. All right, anyway. We're going to take off the, these irons, you know. And I'm going to pick up this torch. There we go. Is this the game? No, no, no. I I'm thinking of something else, but, uh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I Jesus Christ. I was thinking of, of uh, no, you can actually do this in this game, I think. If you tap the run button really quickly and kind of do little movements. Yeah, it looks like you're roller skating. You know, but, uh, I care. You did it. Don't push me, prisoner. Push. Alright. Here we go. We're going in the right way? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. 
Now, on my last save at Oblivion, I actually sold all my lockpicks, which is like a horrible, horrible decision. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sell any of my lockpicks this time. Um, now, I, I have patched Oblivion here, which means that I don't know if all their bugs are retained, but if, if you haven't seen Oblivion already, if you haven't ever been on this wild ride of a game, um, let me tell you, uh, when this game first came out, it was very, very buggy. Uh, there was a glitch where the uh, paintbrushes in this game w would not have any physics. And if you had too many paintbrushes, you could essentially make a ladder to nowhere. Danger. And you could, like, climb buildings and, and do all sort of weird stuff. And, and arrows back in the day, uh, you would do this glitch where you fired an arrow at the same time as you, like, dropped an item. Which would mean that you duplicated items, you know. The bug is still in? Really. Well, uh, unlike your smile. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Take a look. Take a look. See. Yes. <laughs> gravity. Gravity means nothing in, in in Oblivion. It has this very weird sort of like uh, slow motion physics to it. You'll see it later with the physics. But the, the, when when like dudes drop and corpses drop, it's like. Bleep. Like it doesn't go boop. It just like slowly descends like boop. The gate is barred from the other side. The trap. Alright. What about that side passage back? We're the dry. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I believe there's a lot of mods that will fix that stuff, but I am playing this just as vanilla as can be. I want, I want to, uh, Oblivion to be represented what it is. I mean, some people do mod overkill on this game, and I, I, I think that's cool too. But uh, I, 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 I think you can't really fix Oblivion at its core. It is Oblivion, which is, I guess, for some modders, not the purpose why they mod it. They just want to enhance that experience. Help me. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. I am he helping. Oh. Waste, waste side. <laughs> Oops. Uh. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. And now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. The emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. Don't know why. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon Crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. <coughs> he must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Uh, I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here. You'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. All right, the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there, but from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced archer. Am I right? All right, I did this last time, but every goddamn time you you play this game and you're like, hey, I'm 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 this and that. He never guesses it right. Like I haven't used a bow once, and he's like archer. What? Ugh. Anyway, we are a monk. And uh, security, sneak, acrobatics, marksman, alteration, oh, hand -hand athletics, absolutely, yes. Archer, my god, alright. I could do a custom class. Yeah, let's do a custom class, screw it. 
Let's go with uh, strength. Uh, we could do endurance too. Uh, block. No, I think strength is is what you want. Let's see the strength and uh, what else would be good. Personality. Yeah, I don't know if Mulk has any personality, but luck. He is unlucky, but uh, yeah, I think endurance would be good here because it's you know block armor and heavy armor. You know, increase when you're sleeping. Race. Yeah, you know what? Strength and endurance is best for this. All right, so we're gonna do here. We're gonna do. Um, I want block definitely. Hand to hand is a given. Um, I think. Oh yeah. By the way, unarmored. Uh, where is it? Uh, that's not an actual thing, uh, is it? Acrobatics. Uh, for sure. Athletics. Uh, acrobatics. Uh, what else could we do here? Uh, marksman, mysticism, re restoration, light armor. Uh, no. But that's just a thing you naturally get good at. Uh, security? An armor was a skill in the Morrowind, that's what I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still in this game, it is. Uh, we did block. Sneak. Well, I don't know if... Yeah, he is kind of sneaky. He's sneaky. And he, he, you know, he's been in jail, so, uh, yeah. We're not doing heavy armor, we're just doing, like, shirtless, you know. Speechcraft? What do you think? Marksman? No. Security? How about this? Sneak and security. We could do restoration. It would be pretty good if we're doing, like, you know, healing spells. Guys, between security and restoration, what do you want? So, healing or opening up lockpicks? Actually, I can get both. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I think this is good. This is pretty good, honestly. Uh, yeah, this, this is pretty nice. And I will be, uh, I will be, uh... I will be a muscle wizard. M muscle wiz. Okay, I can't do the full name, but th this is perfect. Muscle wiz. Perfect. Muscle wiz. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh god damn it! Oh no, it already saved it. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Mus muscle wiz. I should do this. Jeez, no. Yes. Did I do that again? Wow, it's like it's like Ocarina of Time with the owl. Like, oh god damn it. Alright. Yes. Oh I, oh I see, I see. I, I I already am. Oh I saved that's what it is. I'm, I apologize. Oh my god. Yes. I would be Musclevis. I wasn't far off. In any case, you were. goblins won't give you any trouble. All right, after the sewer is then wet. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. And stupid. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. That's not smart. That's not smart. Listen, he's dead. Bulk is pretty hungry. So, I'll take like a nibble out of his foot. Listen, the Emperor is dead. I need to show him respect. I need to give him a, a, a graceful death resting place. So, uh... Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I did this last time, but, uh... No, not quite, alright. It's gonna, it's gonna have a good resting place where the Emperor will be remember- Oh my god, his foot. The can-can! Alright. So what are you thinking about? You know, stuff, being dead, meh, meh, being the Emperor is hard, ooh, ooh, whew. 
All right. Let's do so. Let's, there we go. D did I make the emperor dab? Guys, I apologize. I even I even apologize to you, Bar Bar Bars. Why, why are you so tall? Oh, that's why I'm sneaking. Oh, I'm like. This is how Bo Bogan talks to people. Alright, anyway. I want to give him the starfish look. Snow Angel. Do you think he approves of me doing this? I can't tell, but, uh. What? I would shoot an arrow into him, but, uh, yeah. There you go. And we're out of here. Alright, anyway, so here's where the real game begins. Uh, and Joel wastes half of the stream in, 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 a, in, a, in a resting room. Yeah, I know. Alright, chat. How, how long until... How long until I encounter a, a guard and we get the uh Stop you violated the law I give it ten more minutes. Anyway, yes. <laughs> yes, we've all seen those videos and I'm making obvious references to it. And here he is, out in the wild, he's finally awake, uh alive. I, I don't know what you wanna say, but yes, here he is. Yes. The floaters and the babes. So beautiful. Yes, swim. Swim time. Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's let's punch let's punch them dudes. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this this lettuces and onion. Um. All right, so here here begins the adventures of Bulk Bogan or like Bulk Bogan's ancestor, I guess. I'm gonna get this by the way. You draw power from the well, yes. And now we have a bunch of let's see here. What what that attribute or uh, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. All right, then we go here. All right. Now that's my skills. What am I doing? Uh. It's been a while since I played this, even though I played it, like, not so long ago. Here we go. Alright, now, my... current thing that I've... Here we go. A little bit. Fortify magic. Alright, nice. Alright, I'm gonna, The first thing I kill, officially, is gonna be a, a dolphin. There we go. Take that, uh, shark. Uh, here we go. Oh, here's a bandit. There we go. I have not killed a dog. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna get some boots. That's perfect for bulk. <laughs> anyway, uh... I'm gonna eat some raw... Your arrows mean nothing to me. Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. 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 Now you made the bogan mad. I only get stronger! I'm fine. West side. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm feeling fine. Uh... Could be better, of course, but, uh... Alright, uh, on, on for adventure. 
Let me get some crab meat. I mean, uh, dolphin meat. So, uh, yeah, uh, arrows mean nothing in this game. Even though they, they clearly pierce your flesh, it really means nothing. Get this apple. There we go. So, Oblivion is filled with little, 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 little nice details. Um, like, uh, they, they might not be too obvious at first, but when you actually start playing this game, you notice little, little things that you might have missed the first time you play it. Like, there's little, little, little things that make the world seem alive. Like, there's, uh, occasionally an adventure that's pairing out of vampires, like over here. There's a tent, and there's a little garlic thing, and it's got, like, a little storybook about vampires and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go there and, and take that and sell it. And I'm gonna get this garlic and do that. Is my game really freaking out about a mud crab? Can I lift this guy? I think actually you can start messing around with uh, ragdolls better the stronger you get. Yeah. By the way, I want to say a serious thing. Uh, Oblivion, uh, to this day, I think looks all right. Sure, it's a little rough in certain areas, but I think all these trees and these countryside and stuff like that, just a little grass. I think it looks all right, but let me tell you, when this was 2006, I was like, this is the pinnacle of graphics. This is unbelievably good. Uh, I, I'm serious. When, I, when this game came out, I was blown away by how good it looked, you know. Um... But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I still like Oblivion a lot, and I think, I think a lot of people, like, uh, overshadow some of the, the, the nicer aspects. Like, one of my fondest memories of Oblivion is when you just, you get on a horse, and you feel like you're really in this game. I know it's weird to say it's immersive, but I really felt that way back in the day. I was riding a horse, and I was like, I was, uh, I was, I was gonna buy some food and stay at an inn, and I randomly found this random inn in the countryside, I'm like, man, this game is just, the shit. Hello, dog. Wolfess. Stop. Dog, are you okay? Alright. Also, I'm, I'm gonna do this little half weird bunny hopping. Uh, <laughs> just, uh. Yeah, by the way. Uh, so when you land on the ground, if you do a, a specific frame or whatever you want to call it, uh, you you can look like a, you you're infinitely like scadoodling on the floor. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. That's what you want. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we're gonna go into the Imperial City here, and that's where the real game begins, I guess. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I seriously love this game, and, uh, you know, hopefully me playing it, uh, is gonna... The, 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 the love will make more sense when you see me play it. Uh, but anyway, hey. What is it, sir? Uh, Rumeris? The Emperor is dead, and so are his heirs. Travels fast, We're I guess. A without a leader. The blades were trusted with our Lord's protection. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it was their fault, not mine. Not mine. Farewell, citizen. Yeah, let, me let me tell you. I'm so tempted to punch him in the face. Anyway, we're actually going to pass around here. This is not the right uh, the right Imperial City. The Imperial City is like the 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 main place of this, this game. It's quite big and you can get a little lost in it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Death Battle El Serpento versus <laughs> Bulk Bogan. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we're gonna save here pretty soon, but um yeah. I I am unfortunately a little stressed. Uh not I'm not stressed. Well I'm you know, I had a cup of coffee, but uh I'm 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 pressed, that's the word I'm looking for. On time. Uh I gotta go in like just an hour, so uh I probably can't show art, so I'm gonna just play as much of this as possible. Uh there we go. Anyway, so here's a th neat trick you can do. So, uh, as I said, Oblivion has the system where you, uh... You gotta do certain things in order to level up. So if you constantly heal, you will get your restoration up, which means more levels, so... Yeah. And also, jumping around also increases that chance, so... There we go. It's 
It's gonna be a full playthrough. Oh yes. Oh yes. You have my ear, citizen. Yes. This guy wanders into town. Is he suspicious? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Anyway, as I said, this this game is quite big. But uh, yeah. Here we go. All right. So you guys want uh, an example of how rough Oblivion can be at times? I think I've showed this, but uh, let me talk to this beggar for a second. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Okay, this is a, this is a bad example actually. But when I talk to a, a when I talk to a female beggar, that's when the game is like, ooh, ooh, wow. Hang on. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. I did this last time, but uh, yeah. Here, here we go. Here we go. Uh, where where are we can be? Oh. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I think this might. Yeah. Nope. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Is that so? Claudette Perrick runs a <laughs> fine alchemy shop. You should check out the gilded carafe. Faker. Thank you, kind sir. Claudette Perrick runs a <laughs> fine alchemy shop. You should check out the gilded carafe. <laughs> Blessings of Mister. Thwack. You know. But that's not the worst of that, though. The Oblivion voice acting is quite infamous for sort of that stuff. Like, inflections get randomly lost. It, it, it's a little weird. Uh, and in a very early version of Oblivion uh, that was still released, uh, there's an NPC in town that they, they forgot... They have an outtake in the actual recording, and it's just like talking, and then goes, <coughs> Let me do that one again. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh... This is not actually the, the shopping district. This, district. this is it. Here we go. We go in here. It goes into the Green Emperor's Way. Is the wrong one, actually. Yeah, look it up. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's weird as hell. They kept it in, but they're human, you know. Maybe it was an Easter egg. No, I don't. I don't think so. Here we go. Here's the market district. This is where you want. I think this is where the NPC. Is hello. What do you want? Uh, rumors. The feed bag isn't fancy, but it fills you up. <clears throat> Here she is. Here she is. All right, get ready. Get ready. Please be generous, kind sir. Have a coin beggar. Thank you, kind sir. And then the type of septum who <laughs> is a nice place. Faker. Blessings of Anu upon ye. Yeah. I can eat for the day with a single coin. Oh yeah, can you? The type of septum <laughs> hotel is a nice place. It's not cheap though. Uh. Thank you, kind sir. The type of <laughs> Blessings of Anu upon ye. Yeah, 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 whatever. And anyway, we're gonna go to fighting chance. Uh, I'm gonna showcase uh a little quickly how this the the uh, some of the stuff works but first i'm going to sell all my Welcome stuff to a fighting chance yeah 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 have a look at my wares i'm sure there's something to suit you. i'm going to sell 16 arrows for one go coin there we go sell this too flawed ruby yeah sell no nah, i'm going to do that that's all i Thank need Thank you for your patronage all right oh yeah before we do anything uh let me just show you how this 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 this, this works so, uh, this is the speech craft thing, the little uh, the speech wheel. Some people don't get how this works, but it's really easy once you get get to uh, understand it. Which I'm immediately going to mess up, but uh, that's not the point. So anyway, in each attempt to persuade, you must admire both joke and course. Uh, each one of these actions raise or lowers the NPC's disposition. Don't take too long, because the NPC's disposition is steadily falling. Alright, so here's what happens. You have to start with, with this. Whatever they like the least. So, uh... The joke. So, okay, let me let me let me see how this works. So we do this. You can't really. And then. Where'd you get that? What nonsense! And can't then. Do better than that. She likes me a little bit more. So how the system we'll works see. is, uh, the best thing you have, you want to fall that into joke, you know, and you want the the least one to, uh, yeah. I explained that like shit. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bribe her. Then just. That's great. How's it go again? Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Mama. Farewell. Anyway, uh, so that system is is not the best. I didn't explain anything, did I? <laughs> All right, basically, you have to, you have to, when, when her face, uh, okay, let me say that one more time. When her face smiles at something and he, she likes it, that's when you click on it, or, or rather, okay, you have these wheels. When it's the biggest one, you gotta align, because you have turns, right? Uh, worst explanation ever, my god. Uh, so, for example, when, when the, the yellow stuff is at its biggest, you want to align that to where she smiles the most. And when she smiles the least, or like she gets angry, that's when you want the little, little thing. So, uh, yeah. Nobody know what the hell I'm talking about. I should make a PowerPoint presentation, right? Nani. <laughs> Mind blown. The yellow stuff. I mean, I, I explained it though. I, I I did. I mean, if you don't understand it, then uh, then uh, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I actually understand. Yeah, okay. At least somebody understands, right? Okay, let, let me show it one more time. So. Okay, so if I start, he's gonna dislike me immediately. So let's see here. When I choose joke, he's like, "Hmm, I like that." He doesn't dislike, he, he dislikes this, and it's got the least yellow in it, so if I choose this, the really big stuff here is gonna fall into joke, which he really likes. So, for example, this blah, makes him dislike blah, me, blah. but he loves What's this. Like, yay! Oh, oh, that's great! That's really... Was that you see what I mean? Farewell. I think I need speechcraft skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's also another thing in this game with, with lockpick and stuff. Uh, with the heal? That makes more sense. Alright, that's what I mean. Alright, sorry. Alright, yellow stuff. See, it's early in the morning. I'm not, I'm not like, uh, that uh, acquainted with talking in the morning. Anyway, we're going to go to, uh, go to new merchandise. Uh, let me pick some stuff. Hello. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. I don't know why, but she looks like Jodie Foster. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. All right. Uh, so th we're never gonna get this. So I I'll play it Oblivion a lot of times, but I have never, ever, never, ever been able to buy any of this. I've been able to like haggle stuff, which you can do here. You know, but, uh, yeah, I can never, uh, do this. Yeah, she looks like Moira Brown from Fallout, right? But anyway, yeah, uh, just don't bother with this stuff. Just make your own, like, cr crazy source and stuff, you know? Fare thee well. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, in Oblivion, uh, you can't touch anything. If I start moving her stuff around, she gets really angry at me, right? But I can do this, and she won't react, so, uh, here I go. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. But the moment I do this, and I got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke this ceramic bowl. Here we go. A one and a two and a. Boop. You treacherous little filter! How dare you steal from me? Yes. Yes. How are you doing? Feel free to browse, friend. He doesn't like me too much, so I'm gonna go now. Fare thee well. Bye bye. Stop I right uh there, criminal! <laughs> Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating his goods. <laughs> now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Uh, I'm gonna resist arrest. Then pay with your blood! Then pay with your blood! Oh no. 
Oh no. You cannot get me. No, no. No, no, no. You'll never take me down. Master of escape. Bye bye. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Guys. <laughs> uh, um, um, okay, how about this? I'm gonna let you guess what just happened. If you guessed crashed, then you win the big money. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my god. All right. Let me, let me try that again. It's all part of the uh, the oblivion experience. Man, they wanted to kill me for for like poking a a a like a cereal bowl, you know. Oh god, I love this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me give me like one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. And are we good? Not yet. We are. There we go. Oblivion! Shut the gates of the moon! Alright, now, question for chat. Uh, I'm not gonna bring in Morrowind into this. Because then we'll have, uh... Oh god. You know what, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay one gold for this. Uh, what, I'm gonna bring Morrowind into this, but what do you prefer? Uh, Skyrim or Oblivion? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Spree. I'll take any stolen I I I I, I looked at yours. a something. Hey, you're fine. Or I'll haul you away. I think most people prefer It's a very split decision. Yeah, yeah okay. One gold. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Okay. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First, we search you. Confiscate any stolen goods. I touched a pot. Then you pay your fine, I, and we release you. I touched a pot. <laughs> My God. Speak. Hello. You have my ears, I was gonna say too. Uh, quick thing. I've never done this, but it, it it's possible to like slaughter everybody in the world in this game, right? And I know, I know some NPCs are like immortal, but I mean like townspeople. I uh, you go into the Imperial City and you just kill everyone. Anyway, check this out. Mm -hmm. mm. Flames, Burne. There we go. Okay, well. Have mercy. Just one oh. coin. One more coin and I can get a pair of shoes. Sure about that? Thank you, kind sir. Absolutely. The Thai Perception <laughs> Hotel is a nice place. It's not cheap, though. Ah! <laughs> Good afternoon. Of What's going on with you? Oh, yeah, you might be shocked if you've never seen an Elder Scrolls game before, which is, like, unbelievable, but if you have never seen it, you might be shocked that there is a lizard people race. It could be a dangerous situation. My God, look at him. Anytime now. What? She went to war, man. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're gonna check our, our requests here real quick. We don't want to mess around too much in time, but anyway. Let's take the Amalot of Kings to Joffrey at Wayne and Priory near the city of Coral. Coral! Uh, I don't need anything, honestly. So, I've, I've uh, contemplated doing this many times, but this game is one of the first games to have fast travel in it. Uh, and, well, uh, I like fast traveling, but I think, unfortunately, fast traveling also sucks the life out of the game. It makes you forget, oh, this guy, <laughs> it makes you kind of forget to appreciate the game and its surroundings, so I'm gonna fast travel as little as possible, uh, I hope that's okay with you guys, but I don't want to go zip, 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 between cities, uh, 
it it it's, it kind of destroyed my my oblivion experience initially because I'm like, man, this game is just like, okay, go there, go there, go there. Uh, it makes you bad at the game too. Yeah, yeah, it does because you're not playing the game essentially. You're just uh, yeah, anyway. Let's go get a horse. Man, all these horses perfectly. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Oh yeah, by the way, you know what I think is weird? Elder Scrolls orcs are like, they're warriors, yes, but they're so like. See, the orcs for me is like Warhammer 40k orcs, you know. Wah! But they're just like regular people in this. Not a bad way. Go on. Yeah, I would like a horse, please. Oh yeah, I just have one. Yeah. Yeah. I work at the Chestnut Handy Stables. Have you seen our horses wandering around? No? Okay. <coughs> it's just that they're missing. Yeah. Good day. I love the Warhammer 40k works though. What 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 is the what is the gods of, of the orcs in, in Warhammer 40k? I I never played orcs. I used to play Black Templars. Uh, is it Gork and Mork? Or whatever. All right, you know you know what I think we can do here at the first thing. I'm gonna start quick saving, but uh, I'm gonna do my first steal. So nobody can see me. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna steal this leak out of this man's pants. What do you think you're doing? Already caught me. Well, I gotta be mad if I. Yeah. It's all oh. over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. I'm gonna resist arrest. Then pay with your blood. For the Empire! No. Please. No. No, no, no. Ah. No. Uh, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna think about what I've done. This is fine. Hello? Alright, now what do I do with this corpse in my in my house? I wake up. Go ahead, please. I like a horse. No, this guy doesn't even have horses, I think. Alright, well, uh But who who sells the horses though? I could theoretically just steal a horse, but I don't wanna really do that. Who sells the horses? Hang on. What do you want? No, it's not her. Make it quick. Yeah. Just go away. Uh. I mean, I'll get one later. I know that, but uh, whatever. I guess I'm just walking then. Fine, whatever. They don't sell horses at the stable. Yeah. Okay. So it's just like stable, stable. You know. Anyway, let's let's go over here. And it's it's uh northwest. So let me do that. Anyway, hello, friend. Yes. I I don't need I don't need I don't need uh, direction. I only dismay. By the way, I I need to do a phone call like super quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
There we go. Anyway. See, uh, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I, I'm, I'm gonna have lunch. I'm having lunch with the family. I'm being a good boy. I'm gonna have steak! <laughs> anyway, uh... Anyway, let's enjoy this this countryside and the rain. The only thing that could make this any better, because I love rain, is if we look up and it's like... T -t 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 raindrops on my face. Ah, uh, nothing like a little bit of... canine combat in the morning. This is fine. I'm gonna take this. Launch at 3 a.m. Oh, my friend. And you thought I lived in America, did you? And don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna go to that 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 uh, Chinese restaurant. And I'm gonna go to Steakhouse! Where the hell am I going? Anyway. I wish I wasn't pressed on time. What I, what I could do, I could resume this later on tonight. We'll see. There we go. Anyway. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, whenever I look up in, in video games and it's not raining on your face, I'm like, dude, play Metroid Prime. That was the first time I played Metroid Prime. I'm like, wow, dude, it's like I'm in the game. Alright, but anyway, when I'm not punching wolves to death, uh, so this game has a level scaling system, and if you're not familiar with that, it's it's this uh, system I don't really like. Uh, Bethesda introduced this thing where, um, depending on what, you're, what level you are, everything is adjusted accordingly. Uh, for example, um, for example, uh, you have um, this leather and like fur armor at the start, and you're fighting crabs and wolves. But later on in the game, it starts getting to, like, steel and glass and stuff like that. I used to level up, by the way. But, uh, yeah, when you get to that level, uh, the enemies also change. Suddenly it becomes more, like, goblins and stuff like that. But uh, that's just something I never really liked because it kind of detracts any sort of danger from the game, if that makes sense. Like, one of the... I love walking into, like, high-level stuff accidentally or, like, oh, I shouldn't be here yet. It feels like you're you're trying to accomplish a goal later on. Like I want to get to this level I, I, or this part of the game later on if I work hard enough. Uh, but in Oblivion, that doesn't really happen. It does maybe in dungeons and stuff like that. But generally, uh, this level scaling shit, I think a lot of people had troubles with, because or problems with, because it's not really it's not really a good system. I mean, it's 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 made to be more, you know, friendly to the player, but it's still, you know. I don't know, what, what do you guys think of the level ceiling? I'm not a fan, but I want to hear you. I want to hear you email me at this, this, oh. Oh, runes. Hang on. Give me a second, this is important. This is importante. Hang on. Here we go. Marked by a special fate, you rule your destiny. Do you choose your stare by the stars of the thief? No. I am a warrior. It's unrealistic. Well, <laughs> I mean, you're talking Oblivion here, but uh, never been a big fan of Oblivion's level system. Really mind. Uh, wolf, wolf. No. Okay, fine. You want to go? All right. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Do that in the wild. Just go out there and punch a wolf to death. I, I I'll guarantee you that uh, you'll have a, a fun time. Uh, you will learn stuff, and you will learn about a floating rock. Uh, anyway. Again, you can't just fast travel to these locations. You gotta find them first, though. But, uh, for me, I, I like just, like, the countryside. I think that, for what it is, uh, Oblivion has a... All these trees and this countryside, it feels alive in its simplicity. I don't know why, but the European forest feel, really, they nailed it. I don't know why, but when I think of Blavius' country, I'm like, it kind of looks like what it looked like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Except for the wolves just chomping on your face, but, you know. Yeah. Boop, boop, 
Boop, boop, boop, boop. I think, uh, th but there's a weird contradiction in this story. Uh, so, I believe that the Imperial City initially in the Elder Scrolls lore, uh, or the, all this stuff wasn't like European forests. Uh, I think it was like a, a not a marshland, that's the, the Orgonia resting uh, like place. Uh, but I believe it was like a jungle. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, but it was something. I read something about that that uh, they retconned it to be uh, European forests. Yeah, it was a jungle, was it? Yeah. Right, who's following me? Oh, hello, more wolves. Anyway, I think. Okay, I'm in Bruma now. I'm st okay now. I gotta go straight southwest. A good way of leveling up your your uh, your uh, jumps is just to kind of go at an angle like this, and occasionally you kind of skadoodle upwards, like that. See, I know my stuff. Should probably really heal, by the way. My knee place are cool. This. All right, here is uh, Bruma. We gotta make it to Coral. Magica. Yeah, Cyrodiil was a jungle before Bethesda did some cosmic level retconning. <laughs> I, I... I don't really mind retconning too much if it's done okay-ish, I guess. It just, uh... Actually, you know what, you know what, you know what? You guys tell me a story. Tell me a story, because I always tell the stories. Tell me a story about the most frustrating retconning you've ever experienced. I want. I want to hear about it. I want to. I want to hear some nerds. Tell me about some nerd stuff that I also relate to. Retconning is never done okay-ish. Uh, I'm think. I'm thinking of something. There we go. Fallout 4 with everything, but I don't Fallout 4 retcon anything. But uh, Star Wars, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah. Man, I'm jumping a lot. Uh. Yeah, let's go online. Fuck the lore hard. No, really. New Vegas. Um, Star Star Trek. Well, the Star, the J.J. Abrams movies, the, the original timeline in Star Trek still exists. Well, I'm really sounding like a nerd now, but uh, yeah, in Star Trek, uh, Spock's universe still exists. It's even in the movie, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of some like retcon stuff that made me angry, but uh, nothing like that comes to mind. I guess. Uh, but I'm sure there's some stuff that I'm like, ooh. Oh, 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 yo. Here, here's, a, here's a perfect example of like a retcon that I'm like, what? Right, this is not as a retcon as much as this. It, it's like a stupid thing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, if you're a if you're a Fist of the North Star fan, I'm I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here. But Fist of the North Star Two is is. A silly extravaganza. Uh, so, in the original Fist of the North Star, the big bad is is Keno Rao. You all know him. And at the end of the series, you know, Kenshiro kills him or defeats him or whatever, and you know, big fight and whatever. Uh, and one of his one of his downfalls is that he had like compassion in his heart and stuff like that. Now, in the sequel uh, they make, his twin brother shows up. But this time, he doesn't have compassion in his heart. And they don't, they're like, oh yeah, he had a brother, which looks exactly like him, except he's like purple. <laughs> oh, this wolf, what is this wolf doing? Hey. In fact, I, I even forget what his name is. Hand to hand, nice, all right. Anyway, it was so lame. What was his name again? 
I, I, I totally forgot. Kayo was his name, okay. Yeah? You can fast travel to the, the priority without uh, that's with okay. Well, I still want to do it, you know. Well, um, let's see your. But yeah, uh, yeah. Didn't like episode seven of Star Wars retcon all the books. I not sure if you're talking about the expanded universe. Listen, listen. Let me tell you about one of my favorite books of all time. So, I don't know, maybe you guys have read this, I don't know, but but as a kid, I used to go to the library, I know, like, nerd. But, uh, let me tell you, there used to be the Star Wars, like, weapon and vehicle book. That was the, 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 the coolest stuff. It was super detailed. And it explained every nook and cranny of, of, of the Millennium Falcon. Well, how a lightsaber works, all this stuff, how a blaster works, it was super detailed. And I was like looking at it like, Th this stuff really works, okay? Th th this is not like just science fiction. This is like, you can build this, all right? And uh, I'm not sure what it was called. I'm sure you guys might be familiar with it, but I used to go to the library and just browse it like, wow, dude, this is... <sighs> Your elementary school had it, yeah. But that book, man, like if that's part of the expanded universe, and that the, the expanded universe got retconned out of new movies, then I'm gonna be mad. That was my favorite book, you know. No, I'm just kidding. the The only reason I'm mad because of the new movies retconning the past is because we'll never have another holiday special. That poor deer got his ass smashed. Oh, I feel bad for the- I, I feel bad for that animal. Alright. Uh, let's go down here. Coral. Whipster, whipster. Anyway, it took like a really weird detour to get to the uh, Wayner Priory, but... Uh, Shadows Rests Cavern. You know what? You know what? Let's do a dungeon, sure. Dungeon. Speaking of dungeon... <laughs> did you know that Billy Harrington liked one of my tweets? I... I... I am not even kidding about this. Uh, here, here's an imp, by the way. Check this out. If you move left or right, he can't hit you with the fireball. Hang on, check this out. Come on, shoot your thing. Come on. Now I'm thinking about the other thing. This one doesn't do that. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, but it actually, while I was in Japan, Billy Harrington himself liked one of my tweets. And if you're not familiar with who Billy Harrington is, he is a he's a, he's a buff man, and he does a lot of wrestling. I'll put it that way. And uh, he is quite quite well known in the. Uh, in the in the YouTube world, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Aniki, but uh, yeah, he um, he liked one of my tweets while I was in Japan. I was saying something along the lines of I, I had one of his Figma figures or whatever. He's, he's like action dolls, and I was like, dude, I love Japan. And I I, I saw my, my my phone blow up, and I'm like, Ooh, okay, what's going on? And I'm like, Billy Harrington just like one of your tweets. And first of all, I thought, well, uh, Billy Harrington, really? Uh. No, I don't care about that. I have the expansion pack for stuff, but anyway. So I thought, hey, who's this guy? And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. It's actually Billy, Billy Harrington. So uh, I, I I, was blessed by Anarchy himself. Unbelievable, I know, but it actually happened. Yeah. Excuse me, imps. No, they, sh they, they shoot fireballs. I gotta say, playing unarmored is like better than I thought. And we need to, like, heal. <laughs> uh, here we go. Excuse me. Rocky run. Oh, I get that, I guess. Yeah! Apparently, he's also a, a, a porn actor. What? What? Yeah! That, that can't be true. I did not know that. N no, seriously, are you t- What? No. 
No. What? You, you're kidding me, right? No way. Simply that cannot be true. Anyway, thanks. Uh, gold. Gold. It's a gold mine. Uh, anyway, so these these ga these caverns in oblivion, um, people have problems with because it looks all co copy pasted. But it, it's because it is. Uh, the way these were constructed is they were all built with this 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 toolkit, and they. Uh, Okay, before we do that, uh, let me tell you about how this lockpicking stuff works. Uh, but yeah, these dungeons look a little same because they were—they are all like Lego pieces put together. But anyway, let, let me explain the lockpick system, right? So uh, there's a lot of ways of doing this. Um, now, some people listen for sound. Some people, you know, do this and that. What I do is when I do this, it goes slowly up, and that's when you press and click, and that's when it's put in place. So this is not it. This is this. That was it. Not it, not it. That's it. So let me let me show you an example. So, huh? That was it. I gotta be careful. All right. There we go. And oh, see what I mean? Oh, what am I doing? That was not it. That. That. Sorry. <sighs> but uh, I'm not the best at that. But that that's how you do it. And then, listen, listen. I sucked at explaining the the speech wheel, but if you can't understand that, then 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 it's then it's your problem, okay? Yeah. Speech crap minus one. Yeah. Rat meat. Anyway, dog. Two dogs. Uh oh, this might be the end of bulk. Bulk live. See if you kind of. Skadoodle on the side, you can kind of beat these dogs, I think. Yeah, I did it. Look at those spaghetti legs. <laughs> these poor dogs. At least they died. Caught a lot together. Anyway, what's over here? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, uh, that was it. Mm. There it is. All right. Oh, I got a brass ring. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is the way I came from. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the thing with these these caverns, right? They kind of do look the same, so. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Gachi Muchi. But uh, yeah, I, I I was so happy. I was so happy. I was generally really happy because I I like Billy Harrington. Like you know, his his work, uh, n n maybe not so much. But he he's he's a, he's a great guy. Honestly, I I know that sounds weird, but but I like Billy Harrington a lot. He, he's a cool guy. All right. He he loves his fans, and. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I was so happy. I haven't been more happy in my life. <laughs> Sorry, dog. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, have we gone through all these places yet? Man, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm impressed how how well playing as a monk is. Well, I'm playing as a, a muscle wizard, but uh, you know. are we done with this dungeon yet? No, we are not. Nope, nope, we're not going here. There we go. Billy Harrington. Now I only gotta get Van Darkholm to like like my tweets. Does Van Darkholm have a Twitter? Oh, nice! Look at that. I think this is the way out, actually. Muscle wizard. This is the way I came from, too. So I think I'm done with this dungeon. I'm not sure. Anything left to do with that is the question. No, I think I'm done here. I think I might be done. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I gotta backtrack out of this dungeon, right? I can't, uh... Alright. Let's check the map first. I can't just be wandering around and be like, Is this done? Yep, it's done. It's done. Dungeon. Anyway, uh... Here we go. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, so these dungeons do look a little like, you know, when, when you traverse into them. And, uh, but I don't really mind, you know, I don't really mind too much, honestly. There we go. Dungeon. Whenever I think of dungeon, I think of Dungeon Man from Earthbound. Anyway, I, I'm really, like, getting a good pace on this game. Like, not really, but, like, doing this dungeon, I did surprisingly quick. And you think I waste time, right? Well, that's a good thing, then, because uh, a lot of these dungeons are kind of straightforward, which means uh, we're not going to waste too much time. It's kind of straight, straightforward, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. You know what I need? I need to find a bed. Yeah, I guess I can punch these guys. Beep, 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 beep. The noise they make is a little off. Like these imps, they... His rato. They sound more like fairies or pixies, which I guess they kind of are, but uh, they, they look too monstrous to be that. Anyway. Let's finally go to the, uh... The priory here. And Carl. Zubats. Speaking of dungeons, have you tried Dungeon Keeper? The original? On PC? Yeah, hell yeah, I played Dungeon Keeper. I thought you were talking about... What was that game? Dungeons of... Uh, what was, it's like a throwback game. To the, uh, the maze crawling stuff. I could have died there, but... Yeah. Here we go. Hello? Dreadmore, is that? Yeah, yeah, Dungeon of Dreadmore. Uh, that's uh, Vinny played that a while ago. Yes, I might give that game a try one day. It's 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 uh, it's pretty badass. It reminds me of uh, one of the Dungeons and Dragons games, like the, the, the Doom of something. Fight! 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 Oh. See, here's the thing. When people die, I can just I don't care. I can just watch, observe. Oh, dude, you know what we should do? We should take his horse. We should take his horse. I just want to see what happens, okay? Somebody help! Break the law on my watch, will you? Um. Confiscating your stolen goods. Oh, and no gold to pay. Then pay with your blood! Oh! Take me down! I never, I never saw my own head, like, through my head in my ponytail, but, yeah, that's what happens. Anyway. Anyway. Oh! Um, my, 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 my toes! Have you ever heard of Total Overdose? You are dead. 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 Thought you were hot. Guess what? You're not! Now you're dead, and your body starts to rot. Whatever. Start healing. Help, 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 help. Guard. Ow. Guard, now will be the time to help me. Hello. Help us. Help us now. Help me. Help me. Listen, I'm doing fine here, okay? Ow. Help me. Help us. Did you just steal her gold or whatever? 
you corrupt man. All right, nice. <sighs> anyway, let's get all this and then let's get a move on. You should play Dragon's Dogma. It can create bulk bogan easily. Yeah, it's like a, he's like a multi-character. He just appears in other games, you know. Too bad Total Overdose didn't get any sequel. You know what we should play? You know what we should play? Speaking of great music in video games, we should play that game uh, that's about like a blues playing skeleton. What is that co game called again? M Mr. 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 Bones? I I seriously, that is like my game, man. Come on. There we go. Oh, Mr. Bones, yeah? Magica. Grim Fandango, guys, please. My god. Grim Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Take the amulet to Joffrey. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now, I think where I gotta go is... Uh, the Lodge? No. Many dreams, many sleeps. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Are you having fun dreams? Yes. I do have fun dreams. Mmm. You have good dream now, bye. Now here's the question: Are we gonna? Can I get away with this? Can I take this cheese without him getting mad? Mmm. Mmm. Yes, now, now the dream is smell, very bad smell. Mm, hungry? Are you getting hungry? Yes. Mm, dream Master sixty nine. That is my username. The cheese has been rejected. Uh oh. What hole did you crawl out of? Your asshole. All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go with strength, and I'm gonna go with endurance, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of luck. I think. Yeah, luck suits fine. And I think we are good. Uh oh! No, they didn't crash. Did you call the cops? Did you call the cops? Man, I, I just touched your cheese! Oh. I hope he didn't, didn't rat out me. I'm the shepherd here. Yeah, hello. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. Yes. I'm through talking to you. Fine. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably mention this, but if you're talking with people with your fists up, they dislike you in conversations, but uh... Alright, anyway. That's not Joffrey. You. Hi. Hello, let me let me uh pray. Hurry. The gods have been at peace now. Bye bye. That was not a good uh, idea. Your jokes stink. Anyway, here's Joffrey. No, that's Excuse not him. Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Mabel or Joffrey? Joffrey. I must speak to Joffrey. I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. Yes. All right. Here's Joffrey. Wait, he's not sleeping, is he? Uh, well, I, I got to sleep in that bed, but, uh... <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I'm just gonna see what happens. Hello? I am your savior, okay? Oh yeah, this doesn't work like Skyrim, does it? No. Put that back, you... Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! 
I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Okay, we're gonna redo that because it gets a little too silly. Don't touch the fruit. Hello. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought to you the amulet of Kingis. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. <laughs> Give Joffrey the amulet. By the nine. This is the amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? I helped. Here we go, yeah. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Right. Close your teeth, Joseph Oblivionis. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Mm hmm? How can Oblivion... Okay, I think... I think it's so hot outside my window is breaking. <laughs> how, how can Oblivion trade and those then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find some. Oh, I'm sorry. The Emperor is asking me to find some. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Ah, uh, where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited. But I will help in any way I can. All right, cool. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Gotcha. All right. So I have five more minutes of the stream. I, I can't go any longer than that. Welcome, hey. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, uh, the monastery. Can I help you? Uh, no. Goodbye. All right. Hang on. Wow, Bulk Bogan is real smug. You think you are better than me? Hmm? Hmm? You think you can be more bald than me? Hmm? West side? Hmm? I bet you can't even read. I can't either, but I have muscle power. I have the shirt for you. I'm your savior. I'm gonna put it right on his head. Stop, thief! See what we're gonna do? I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna sit here and nothing's bad. It's gonna, oh. Now I sit. Bit of an awkward, awkward day, but uh. Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar. Yes. What are you gonna do about it? Mm. 
feel the book the holy be blessed <laughs> feel the poker of christ on you you are blessed your first priority now should be to find martin and bring him back here cool farewell your first pri yeah 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 i want to get up stay safe yes okay What's going on? <laughs> I didn't know he was like a like a Japanese monk man. Uh oh. We can do this. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Die. Die with grace. Die with grace. <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> he was gonna sit on me too. What the? All right. I'll try that again. Okay. Please. Sit right here. Hello? I've sworn to die. Oh. Have you? Hello? This, this is my chair? <laughs> Go straight into reading a book. Alright, anyway guys, uh, that's gonna be the first Oblivion stream. I will resume later on. I can't tell you when. But uh, hopefully soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Oblivion is one of my favorite games of all time, as I said. And just chilling out, pl talking about this and that. Like, you know, that. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to check out art later. But for now, I'm super, like, pressed on time. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys around. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'm going to see us live on Mind Sauce and go host them. Uh, here we go. We got none other than... Uh, let's see here. Uh, here we go. We got, uh, nobody's live at the moment, which is a damn shame, but I encourage you to all check out twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce. Anyway, I might be on later on tonight with Vine Wrestle 2017 Summer Slaughter Edition. We'll see, but, uh, all right, for now I'm done. See you guys around. Thanks a lot for watching, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat steak now, so take care.